Oh, you know, just drinking coffee at 9.26. Lots to do tonight. Let me know in the comments. Does coffee keep you awake? I can just drink coffee until midnight and still fall asleep. But if I drink an espresso after five o'clock, I won't, I will not fall asleep. So brewed coffee. All right, getting pumped up. Excited to share with you guys an awesome, huge, amazing toddler boy clothing haul. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. And if it is your first time here, I'm Amanda and I post motherhood and lifestyle content three days a week, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I post lots of day in the life vlogs, clothing hauls for my kids, get ready with me's, uh, I don't even know, but lots of good stuff. So if those are things that you are interested in, I would love it if you would hit that red subscribe button and join my community here on YouTube. So as you can tell from the title of this video, this is a toddler boy clothing haul for spring and summer. I've got lots of good stuff here from like I think four different stores. Um, so I'm excited to share all of this with you. If you don't already know, I have a I almost said four-year-old. He's not four yet. He'll be four next month. Four-year-old son, almost four. Wait, what? I don't know what to call him. Three and a half is not right either, but I have an almost four-year-old son named Brody. He is absolutely precious. I love him so much. Ugh, gosh, I'm so obsessed. I can't believe he's gonna be four. And then I also have a little girl who is 21 months, but this is gonna be all about Brody and his new clothes for um, spring and summer. So currently Brody uh, is, I think he's like 43 pounds or 44 pounds, something like that. He is like, but he's also like 43 inches tall or 44 inches tall. I don't know. I know he's over 40 pounds, but whatever. I don't really know. But he's like 43, 44 inches tall. He's pretty tall for his age, I think. Um, I'm assuming that based on the fact that he he's wearing so his clothes he's wearing in shorts I buy him 5t um, but he's like in pajamas he's been wearing 5t pajamas since uh, last year since his third birthday and pajamas you know cotton pajamas they shrink up so much so I usually like to size up so actually the reason I'm mentioning that is because my question is to you moms who are watching this who have boys that wear sizes bigger than 5t which is obviously the highest on the toddler scale um, what pajamas do you buy your um, kids because I went to Old Navy the other day and they did not have any like youth pajamas at all and so and target either when i went there they just had like two random pairs that just did not like them <laughs> so uh i need to look around and find brody some good pajamas like summer pajamas that are like a youth extra small or something like that but anyway so in shorts i buy him 5t and in swimsuits um in his t-shirts he does have a few shirts here that are 5t because that's what i and Oh my gosh, I can't talk because that's what I initially was buying him for this season. I started to notice some of the shirts were already looking small on him and I hadn't even like washed them yet or dried them. And so I quickly shifted gears and started buying him youth extra small for this season because I just, with boys, I don't like when their shirts look like they're too short. It's the style anyways for them to be a little bit longer and I would rather them last longer. I also get sick of always having to like hang dry things that are like $5 t-shirts. I'd rather just throw it all in the, in the dryer and be done with it. And so I know that if I buy him a 5T and I dry it right away, it's gonna shrink up and it's not gonna work. So anyways, some of this stuff is 5T and some is youth extra small. And then in shoes, he wears a size 12. So that is what we have here. So let's just hop right in to all of these clothes. I will link what I can in the description. Um, there are a lot of things here, so I'll see what I can find. Also, some things may be sold out just because I know like Old Navy just had a big Memorial Day sale. So like I said, I'll link what I can in the description. So check that out. And thank you so much for watching. Let's get into it. So I think I'm gonna start with the things that I got for Brody from Target, uh, just because I love Target so much. So that's where we're gonna start. 
So I have shared these in a couple of my day in the life vlogs because actually these were in his Easter basket and Addison had some too that matched. Um, these are Cat and Jack. These are a size 12, like I said, and these were $12.99. I like that they're camo. Um, we love camo. This is not camo, it's tie-dye, but kind of looks like it. Um, and Brody loves green. It's his favorite color. So these are perfect for him. I love these for the summer, mostly for like if he's playing outside in the backyard with, um, like his, the water table or with like squirt guns or things like that. I think this is like the perfect kind of shoe. Um, I also really like, and I bought them in the past. I also really like the shoes that are kind of like the native shoes, but I usually get them at either Target or Old Navy because they're like half, they're well, way less than half the price. They're like cheap. But they're the, just like, they almost look like, they're like a slip-on shoe with all the holes in them that are fully rubber as well, so you can just hose them off. I really like those as well, but Brody does have wider feet, so some of those slip-on shoes are tough to get his feet in, so these are really perfect for him for playing outside with water toys and stuff like that, um, or even just like going to the pool or whatever. So these are great. I will tell you, at Walmart, I was there the other day, and they had, they didn't have these like camo, which I think for a boy are great, but they had these kind of sandals that looked almost identical and lots of different colors um, for girls and boys. And they were like $6 instead of $12.99. So half the price. Um, and they're basically the same thing. They also had them for women as well. I have a pair um, from Target, but Again, half the price for the ones at Walmart, just a little tip there. And then for shirts for Brody from Target, starting off with a couple of the 5T shirts that I got him uh, before I realized he needed a bigger size. So this is just a Cat and Jack plain 5T black t-shirt. My thing, if you don't follow me and you don't see how my kids dress, I really love dressing my kids like cool. Like I don't like a lot of like the animated things on shirts and stuff like that. So especially for boys, I feel like it's tricky to find clothes that aren't cheesy. Um, so a lot of what Brody wears just kind of ends up being plain solid t-shirts because honestly, a lot of the other things are kind of like, ugh, I just don't like them. I just can't get on board with it. So I love just like a plain black t-shirt. I think it looks really sleek and cool. And so there you go. Then along with kind of in that same realm, this is Cat and Jack as well, also in 5T. I love this like heather, kind of like a sea foamy green. And it does have a little cuff on the sleeve, which just looks really nice. And then also it is a little bit longer and it swoops in the back, which is like super in style. And I just love this. So um, green is also, I think I said this, but green is Brody's favorite color. And so it just, and he has got bright blue eyes. This, this shirt looks great on him. And then I got that exact same shirt in gray. Love it. Then I got Brody this shirt. It's camo and like this is a youth shirt. So this is youth extra small. And there it is. A really cool camo print. I love it because it's not like super like redneck camo, but it's like camo. I like it. Really, really cute. And then this is the other one I got him. And it is like a moisture wicking, like a dry fit kind of shirt. And I thought this would be perfect for just being outside. It, we live in Texas, so it's so hot here. And so shirts like this are perfect for just like play shirts. Um, so he doesn't get so hot and I don't know, or playing with the water table, whatever, being outside. I love this kind of thing for that. That is everything from Target. So moving on, I think we'll do a couple random little small shop things and then I'll head to Old Navy. Not head to Old Navy, but switch to Old Navy clothes. Okay, so again, if you follow my channel, um, you will know that Brody is, he is so funny. He is obsessed with jeans and cowboy boots and his cowboy hats he loves hats he rotates through his he's got multiple cowboy hats and he rotates through them like throughout the day he loves wearing hats he's so funny and he's got you know a belt buckle and a belt and the whole thing he's all about it and so every season you know boys are so simple i find this even like obviously as they get older but even with toddler clothing brody can have some simple t-shirts and shorts and basically every season he gets like a pair of black Nikes and then a pair of cowboy boots and he's like good to go and then when the summer happens he gets like a 
pair of like play like rubbery shoes that we can hose off and he's good but Addison like with girls I'm like I, I want all these things like all these outfits for her and then you have to have like this pair of shoes to match that and this and that it's like boys are so much more simple so anyway every season when his when he outgrows it it's a little less now than every season because he's growing at a less rapid pace but now um whenever he grows out of them he always gets like a nice pair of cowboy boots so um these are the boots that he recently got uh for now since he outgrew his other ones these are durango boots and his other boots his last pair were also durango boots he's had lots of boots already he came home from the hospital wearing baby cowboy boots from Anderson Bean. So yeah. So these are Durango boots. They are, I think these are a size 12. No, wait. Yes, 12, that's what I thought. So super cool. He picked these out at Cavender's. Uh, he, like I said, loves green. So he loved that. And these are his pair of boots so he just wears these and then he's also got a pair of black Nikes but he's had those for a while so I didn't feel like including that in this and then basically for Brody we love basic t-shirts and we love like vintagey looking tees that have like cool things about them like Texas things or uh, he's obsessed with trucks stuff like that so to find those cool vintagey kind of t-shirts from especially like small shops and stuff they tend to be a little pricier so these three shirts i want to say were like 20 to 30 dollars a piece i'm not really sure steven ordered all these steven plays a big role in my husband in brody's wardrobe because he's got a big opinion about what brody wears and he likes him to have cool shirts and stuff like that so steven found all of these so here we go this one is in a five and this is um, red, white, and blue apparel, I believe. The tag just says RWB, but I'm pretty sure it's red, white, and blue apparel, kids. And it is this really cool, like, old Ford truck with an American flag. Brody's obsessed with Ford trucks. That's what Steven drives is a Ford truck. So that is why and it's just this, like, heathered gray, but super cool. So if, if for your boys, if you like, like, cool vintage sh shirts, um, this brand is a great one. He also has another shirt from a while ago from this brand. Also, local, Locally Grown is another good brand that has some really cool t-shirts. Um, this is a brand I had never heard of, but Steven knew of. It's Paris, Texas Apparel Co. So these are all, these two shirts are in extra small. So this is a red shirt with a snorting bull on it. <laughs> Brody is like really obsessed with bulls and... Just things that are tough. I don't know. He is like the coolest kid ever. I don't know how, but he just is. And so anyways, super cool. He's obsessed with the shirt and really, it's like so, so soft, really great quality. And then this is the other one. He hasn't worn this one yet from Paris, Texas Apparel Co. And it says, a Texan can survive with a cowboy hat and a bandana. It's kind of like a heathered navy and so cool. Oh, I love Brody. And now moving on to everything from Old Navy. Coffee break. Hey, before we jump into the Old Navy stuff, if you're not already following me on Instagram, I'll put my handle down here. Head over to Instagram, follow me there, keep up with our family a little bit more closely. Uh, I'm on stories pretty often and stuff like that, so I'd love to have you over there. And if you're enjoying this video and getting value out of it, hit that thumbs up button. It really does help out my channel. So the first thing I'm gonna share are some swimsuits I got for Brody this season. The first one is this like shark swimsuit. Two things Brody's obsessed with, camo and sharks. So I thought this was absolutely perfect for him. And Brody is very fair skinned. Like his skin is so, so fair. And when he gets out in the sun, he gets really, really red cheeks. He gets really hot and he gets burned. So I have to apply lots of sunscreen on him and all of that. If you don't know, my husband is a redhead and so he's got very fair skin. I think that's where Brody gets it from because I don't know, I tan and so does Addison. So anyway, I got Brody this shirt to go with his shark swimsuit because when it gets really, really, like so far when we've swam, he hasn't needed it. But when it starts to get like over a hundred here and we like 
hang out by the pool for a long time this will be so much better for him just so that he doesn't have to like um i don't know wear so much sunscreen but even if he was wearing lots of sunscreen you have to reapply if you're going to be out for a long time things like that so i feel like this will be really really good for him um and it's just kind of like a i don't know rash guard is that what it's called or just like a swim shirt i don't know but super cute little set both of these are 5t and then the other swimsuit I got him is this American flag swimsuit, which I thought would be really cute for the 4th of July. Um, and yeah, I don't know, just American, patriotic. What more could you want? Camo, American flag, boom. I feel like, it's like I said a second ago, with boys it's really tough because even a lot of the swimsuits I look at are just cheesy. Like, I just don't like any of them. I'm like, I don't want him to wear like I don't even know but like I didn't see any cute ones at Target sometimes I just get really disappointed in the selection for boys unfortunately I, it drives me nuts but whatever all right shorts I got Brody this pair of black shorts from Old Navy these are not my favorite material one thing I notice is for toddler boys it's very hard to find anything in black especially shorts like at old at old navy it tends to be navy um and and like navy is not my favorite thing like it's just not i always gravitate towards like a more sleek like cool look which is like all black or whatever or just black shorts kind of go with more and i just think it's cooler than navy i'm not a really big fan of navy uh it feels a little preppy and stuff like that which i think is fine if that's your style it's just not our style so I wish that companies made more like black shorts and stuff like that. So this year, this is what Old Navy had um, and they're fine. They're just not my like all time favorite style. Um, just normal pockets, they're not like cargo or anything, but there they are. Then I love these. This is like kind of that moisture wicking, quick dry feel. So it's just like a black camo and they are so lightweight and so nice. Like I wish they had these in a bunch of colors, but I think this is the only color in this style, unfortunately. But man, when Brody wears this with just like his black t-shirt and his black Nikes and his hair's all fixed, he just looks so precious. Like I like dressing him like cool. Okay. For shirts. Let's go. Got a big pile here, guys. Okay. This is the first, I'm gonna run through this quickly because I feel like this video is getting long. Okay, first up is this like tie-dye red, white, and blue tank top. I got this for Brody technically to wear on Memorial Day, but it was raining all day. I, I guess he did still wear it, but he was supposed to wear this by the pool, but then it rained all day, so we didn't get to go by the pool. <laughs> but he can wear this on the 4th of July with his red, white, and blue swimsuit as well. It's just super cute. So this is a 5T. And honestly, I, put, I have not washed and dried this yet. I put it on him and it fits in pretty snug. Like I'm not gonna be able to dry this or he won't be able to wear it in July. Like I'm telling you, it's crazy. Ugh. The other thing in a 5T, this today he actually wore this, so I have to wash it after this, but he wore this for the first time today. Again, has not been washed or dried in a 5T. It's a very slim cut, the softest material ever. I think it's kind of like a moisture wicking material in a 5T and it looked small on him. I was like, ah, stinks. Like Steven put it on him and had already ripped off the tags and I was like, that literally looks like he wore it last year. So it's kind of frustrating, but it is what it is. So I won't be able to return it, but I just literally won't dry this so that he can at least get some use out of it. But it's a really nice black polo. I w again, I was excited about this because it's not often that they offer shirts in a black color for toddlers for some reason like when you get into the big boy section it's a lot more prominent than in toddler clothing and so i was so excited to find him a black polo but again it's just not gonna last long but really nice fabric like if you have a smaller like a not smaller but like a younger boy that like fits into the like toddler sizes I would get that it's so cute and it's like lightweight perfect for summer makes them look so like put together and nice and just so soft I got him this olive green tank top just to wear it in the summer and this royal blue one he looks so good in blue his bright blue eyes and um, to wear with swimsuits or whatever to the pool 
And then I got him this like heathered navy little Henley, which I think is so cute. And then I got him the same thing, but in gray, this little Henley. So he has a lot of basics. Like I said, a lot of solid colors, but I just like it better than like cheesy animation on shirts. And then this, these are the ones I'm most excited about because like I said a second ago, to get cool Texas t-shirts and things like that, you usually have to spend like $30. And honestly, like on toddler clothing, like for my kids, like I don't really like to spend like $30 a shirt. Um, I mean, a lot of times I don't even spend $30 on shirts for myself. Like I'm pretty like, I don't know, it depends on what it is. But my point is like, I sit there and I'm like, man, I'd rather like just get him some nice play clothes that are like less expensive. So this shirt, I think one of these was four and one of these was $5, but how cute. Just has like the Texas flag from Old Navy. These are youth extra smalls. I just loved it. I thought it was so cute. They had so many Texas t-shirts, which I know not everybody watching this is from Texas. So maybe the Old Navy's where you live have like cool state shirts or whatever that are associated with your state. I don't know, maybe, check it out. Um, and then this one I love, cause I'm obsessed with cactuses in Texas and I just thought it was so cool. So that's it guys, that's, that is everything. I feel like that was a pretty big haul. That's like all of his stuff for spring and summer. Um, it's kinda all he needs, like he's pretty, he's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. He don't, we don't like go nuts. The biggest thing he really needs right now is pajamas and I've gotta figure out what to do about that. A few people, I asked this on Instagram the other day and a few people sent me like some different sites for pajamas and again, they were all like $30 a piece, which I'm kinda of like, ugh. I feel like Brody grows so fast. I feel like that kinda of like, I don't know. If you buy like four pairs of pajamas, it's like a lot, I don't know. We'll see. But then a lot of people told me once they're past 5T, they just wear like gym shorts and a t-shirt. So let me know what your kids do if you have kids that are past the toddler sizing and so I can figure out what I'm gonna do for Brody <laughs> for pajamas. But anyway, I hope you found this video valuable. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. I'd love to have you join my community here on YouTube. I've just, I've had so much fun creating content for you guys. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. You can ride out the blue. I wanna do what you want to. We can leave and run away. Someday, someday